and welcome back. So I am back today with another autumn slash fall video for you and surprise surprise it's a haul. I think I have a shopping addiction but in my defence I'm greatly missing items in my wardrobe to carry me through autumn and winter um, so I needed to pick up some warmer clothing and um, the kind of idea for me behind it was clothing for autumn but they could carry me through to winter so they're easy to layer, things underneath, things on top um, so I really, I needed to go shopping that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it plus my parents were here a couple of weeks ago and um, my parents left me a little bit of money um, to buy some new boots because the boots I was wearing well clearly I walk like an idiot because the heels were both worn down like diagonally um, and I, I really needed a new pair so I went shopping I'm not going to talk forever, I'm going to show you what I got. It's going to be a long video because I've got a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm also going to do cutaways for you guys so you can see what everything looks like. So the first shop I went to, I cannot say the name, so I'm going to show it to you. It's Tally something. I'm not even going to attempt to say the name. I only got one thing from there. I've never been in there before. Um, but I picked up this jumper. It's going to be probably easier to see on the cutaway than it is me holding it up. But it looks like this. So it's a kind of thin woolen jumper. So it, again, it's great to layer. It kind of hangs off one shoulder, like this one, if not a little bit more. Um, the arms are a kind of bat wing arm. What I really like about this is the bottom. Now, this is going to be really hard to show you. But you can see where this diagonal cut is. And this is where your body actually comes through. So it hangs lower on one side as well as hanging off the shoulder. I absolutely love this. It's super, super comfortable. And I think it looks really good on. The next place I went to was Forever 21. Um, I only picked up a couple of things in there. First thing I picked up, which I always do when I go in there, are some new jeans. I always get my jeans from Forever 21. They are eight euros, these ones anyway. Um, and they're just regular skinny jeans. I got, as you can see, a darker wash and a slightly lighter wash. Um, I love the jeans from Forever 21. I'm not gonna lie to you, they don't last a super long time. You know, it, the material kind of loses its shape after a while and they go a bit baggy. But I would say they last a good six months. And so I don't mind spending eight euros every six months on a pair of jeans. Um, what I really like about them is they're, you know, they're not stretchy like um, a jegging would be, but they, they give. So it doesn't feel like you're walking around wearing cardboard, you know, and you can't bend your knees or anything. I live in skinny jeans, so for me, they have to be comfortable. Something else I got from there, again, designed for layering. I picked up this jumper. And it looks like this. So very, very, very simple. It has that neck that's really in at the minute that's come slightly higher. It's actually a really soft, really lovely material. It has nice long sleeves, which I'm not gonna lie, I will probably roll up when it's not too cold because, well, I pull all my sleeves up. Um, it has this button detailing on the cuff, which I don't really like so much, but it's not so offensive, plus, I'm thinking I might just remove the buttons, it looks easy enough to remove them, so. But again, I thought a really nice layering piece, and it's really soft, I'm really kind of surprised by the way this feels. So I really like that. The only other thing I got from Forever 21 is actually for me to wear around the house, really. Um, who knows, I might wear it out when it gets around to summer next year. But um, when I'm at home, I pretty much live in a sports bra. Um, or something to that effect and sometimes I want to throw a little something on I'm not super cold but I want something else or you know if the postman comes to the door I'm not answering the door you know practically naked um, so I saw this so it's just a grey kind of sweatshirt material it has a hood but what I really like about this is let me show you this is the armhole so it goes all the way down to the waistband of the jumper, so you can see whatever you've got underneath it. Um, when I did the cutaway, because I've already filmed those, um, I have like a bralette underneath it, which you will see soon. Um, and it looks really cute, so I love it. It's super comfortable. Next place I went to was H&M. 
This is where I managed to find the boots. Now, it was a struggle for me to buy boots. I probably tried on about 15 pairs. Um, but I settled on these ones. They were 40 euros. And they look a little something like this. They are kind of on the dirty side now because I've worn them every day since I got them. So I need to clean these. But this is what they look like. They are super, super comfortable. It's got a nice chunky heel. And again, you can wear them all day. I'm not like, I'm not a stiletto wearer. Um, and I'm not the best in heels. But these are really comfortable. I've had no problem with them wearing them all day and walking around a lot. They come to a nice kind of length on your leg as well, just above the ankle. Um, which for me, I've got long legs, so I quite like that. It's a nice kind of, I would guess, faux suede material. And it has these like a little elastic parts on either side. But they are super, super comfortable. And just to shove on over a pair of skinny jeans, I love them. I'm very happy with that purchase. Um, I got some more things from H&M. I got this jumper, and I absolutely love this. It is a grey woolen jumper. Slightly, slightly longer at the back than it is in the front, but not too much. It's a nice length, so it comes kind of below the waistband of your normal jeans. Um, and it's, it's really soft. I like the neck. It's got one of those high necks, but it doesn't... When it kind of folds down around your neck, it sits really nicely. It's baggy. It's not too tight, but it's not too baggy. And it doesn't... I mean, you can fold it down, but it doesn't have that square look to it. It kind of scrumples down really nicely. The sleeves are nice and long, and they are long enough for my super long arms, which I love. The only thing about this jumper is the material is a little bit itchy. Um, so I'm going to see what I can do about making it less itchy. If any of you guys have got any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. The next thing I got was a jumper, another jumper, surprise, surprise. But this one has a little bit of colour in it, and it looks a little something like this. So, when I saw it, I was kind of immediately drawn to it, and I think that was the colours. But when I saw the shape of it, as you can see, it's very, very square. Um, and for someone with my figure, which isn't really very much of a figure, um, square cut things don't really look right on me. So, with this one, I do tuck in the front, and I love the way it looks. The arms are, again, long enough for my long arms. And it's the material is kind of quite a... Um, thick rib material, you might be able to see it there, but this is, it's super, super comfortable, and it's really kind of slouchy, um, but slouchy in a good way, you know, you don't look like you're wearing pyjamas, um, but you still feel like super comfortable, so I absolutely love that one. I picked up this really thin, I don't think you can call it a jumper, maybe, super thin, black jumper. It looks a little something like this, and the back is a lot longer than the front, as you can see there. Again, yeah, really thin, so when the weather's slightly warmer, you could wear maybe just a cute bralette underneath. But as it gets colder, you know, laying it with a black vest top underneath, it's thin enough, it's really thin, so you can layer plenty over the top. Um, I like this. Uh, wearing it with, like, a nice kind of statement necklace also looks really cool. The arms, again, are long enough, and what is special about these... Let me stick my hand in here and show you. They have this slit on the on the hand, um, and I'm really bad for ruining on my jumpers because if I'm not tucking the sleeves up, what I do is I stick my middle finger in the material and then pull it down over my hands. So I stretch out like all of the handholds of my jumpers. So with this one, I can't do that because it sits right here, so I can't pull it up. It's slightly annoying because I'm so used to doing it, but I like the fact that I'm not going to ruin this. So, again, nice and plain, nice and simple, pretty much my style, but I really like that one. The material's really nice on it as well. The only other thing I got from there is a bralette. Now, this has a little bit of a story to it. So, I was perusing the aisles in H&M, as you do, um, and then I saw this bralette, so it looks like this, um, just hanging there randomly amongst all of the clothes. I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's really pretty. And it was in my size, so I picked it up and I thought, let me go have a look if they have more, maybe in other colours or something. So the H&M that I was in had two different, um, like, lingerie, underwear, pyjama sections. So I checked through both of them. I could not find any more 
anywhere. So I picked this one up anyway. It was only $7.99 and I absolutely love it. When I got to the till to pay, she scanned this and it was a euro. And even she was like, it's only a euro. Do you want to go and get some more? And I was like, I would if I could, but I can't find them anywhere and explained. So she came to the same conclusion that I did, that it was fate. And I absolutely love this. This goes really well underneath a jumper I'm going to show you next. I got this first, so it's not like I had it planned, but you know, fate. So the last place I went to on my shopping adventures was River Island. And you can see from the size of the bag that I picked up quite a lot of stuff. Um, let me start by showing you the jumper I was just talking about. This is quite possibly one of my favourite purchases from everything I got. So from the front, it looks pretty plain and simple. It's a jumper, a little bit wrinkled by now being in the bag. It has again that, that um, neckline that sits slightly higher, which I'm super into, especially now I've got shorter hair. The sleeves are a kind of three quarter length cut and they're a little bit more, they're ripped basically. The body isn't really ripped, but I like them. They fit really nicely. So again, yes, this looks like a plain and simple color, uh, jumper. What I was gonna say about the color is that surprisingly for my skin tone, this doesn't wash me out, which is a miracle. The special part about this jumper, check out the back. So it looks a little something like this. So as you can see, you'll be able to see easier on the cutout, but in the cutaway even, it's completely open backed. Maybe not super, super ideal for the colder weather, but it looks gorgeous. Like if you're going out maybe on a date or you know an evening dinner with friends or something, you can still be warm, but it looks really cool. Okay, so the next thing I got from River Island is pretty simple, and I just got a couple of t-shirts. So I got this plain black one, again, slightly longer at the bottom, and it has that kind of um, curved line, which I really like in t-shirts. I got this one, and I got the same in grey. They were 2 for 20 euros in River Island. I picked these up in a size 8 instead of a size 6 because I wanted them to be slightly looser, and I do struggle with t-shirts to find some that fit me well, some that aren't too tight but also aren't too baggy. Um, so I really like these, and the material is super, super soft. Next up, surprise, surprise, I got another jumper. Um, this one is thin, so again, really easy to layer. It looks a little something like this. And this, I think, is the only one where the back is not longer than the front. It has the super in collar at the minute where you'll be able to see better on the cutaway but where it looks like you're wearing a choker so you know this part sits up around your neck and then the front part is a V. It has three quarter length sleeves again this is very thin so easy to layer you can easily put a vest top underneath this when it gets colder things over the top but I really love that neck and it's not so tight that you feel like you're being strangled which is you know always a plus it sits quite long and what I also like is it has this slit on either side so it sits really nicely over your jeans as well it doesn't sit so tight that you can kind of like see the button have you ever had that when you have a top that's too tight and then like the button of your jeans pokes through the top it doesn't look quite so nice I picked up this jacket now this is the only item I got that was in sale but I saw this and I absolutely loved it I say jacket it's more of a blazer, well it's a definite blazer. It looks a little something like this. It's one of those kind of pyjama style blazers. It has white piping like all the way around the edge of the collar and across the top of the pockets. It sits pretty long, it kind of hits midway on your hip. Um, and what I love about this, I got this in a size 6. Um, it looks good on me, whether it's done up or it's undone, which is really, really strange, actually. Again, I struggle with my figure with things like blazers. Um, but it's, it's slightly cut in, so it still makes my figure look good. I love the length of it. I love the material of it. And it was reduced from €60 Euros to €33, Euros, which, for me, is a bargain. Uh, the only other clothing item I got from River Island... Sorry, you can see me looking over here. Alvin is sat on the window and he's got hiccups and I'm watching him do this. 
Anyways, I got a pair of trousers. These are going to be a love-hate thing. Um, I love them, but that's quite often the thing with my wardrobe and accessories. People either love them or hate them. But I got these trousers. They look a little something like this. Ooh. So they are kind of a dark olivey green colour as the base. And then they've got all these black and white kind of stripes and patterns all over them. The ankles are um, tighter. They have a bit of like ruching up the sides. So the ankles are tighter and then they get kind of looser as they go up the body. They have an elasticated waistband. Ow, that was my elbow. They have an elasticated waistband, so they're super comfortable. My twin sister calls them MC Hammer Pants. Let me tell you, they are not MC Hammer Pants because the crutch does not come down to the knees, which are a classic MC Hammer Pants. I love these kind of trousers. I wear them all the time on nights out. I usually put them with like killer boots. Um, and they're, they're so comfortable. They feel like you're wearing pyjamas out, but you still look stylish. And they're great pants if you're going to go and have a big meal. They've got the elasticated waistband, so you don't have to worry about wearing skinny jeans and then getting super uncomfortable and wanting to undo the button of your skinny jeans. We've all been there. Don't say that you haven't. Um, I've just got a few more things to show you, and they are on the accessories side of thing. Um, I picked up a new work bag. Uh, when my parents were here, my dad fixed my bike um, and I'm determined I'm going to get off my lazy butt and start biking to work a little bit more so I wanted to get a backpack because the bag I have goes over one shoulder which is not uber handy when you're on a bike so I picked up this so as you can see it's black with gold hardware and gold detailing it's in a kind of brushed leather it won't be real leather because it was 40 euros um, but yes it's got that kind of brushed leather effect which makes it a little bit more durable, which is something I need, especially in a work bag. It has one compartment here, so just a small compartment, and then the bigger main compartment in the back, and it's just basically one big hole. It does have a tiny zip at the back, and you won't be able to see it, but it does have one of those little spaces for you to put your phone in the front. What did annoy me when I got home, because I didn't realise when I bought it, is these at the bottom, these zips, are just for decoration. Um, I thought it'd be quite cool to be able to maybe like keep my makeup in the bottom or you know something like that but alas they are just for decorations the other thing with this bag is the straps so you can either have them like this as a standard backpack or if you pull this up you get one long strap so you can wear it kind of crossbody so my camera just cut me off I'm not sure where I got to but I think I was talking about the straps so yeah you can wear it cross body. For me, I think this bag is a little bit too chunky to, to use it as a crossbody bag. But yeah, for me, my pure intention is a backpack and I absolutely love it. While I was looking at the backpacks, I found a new handbag. Do I need another handbag? Most people would say no. I'm going to disagree. Plus it's uber cute. It looks like this. So it's a tiny backpack. I absolutely love this kind of blush pink, dirty pink kind of colour. This one is in a completely different material, it's more satin material, I guess. Again, this zipper at the bottom is purely for decoration, but the hardware is gold. It also has on the zippers, they've got this kind of chunky pull and it has the same colour in the middle of them, which I really like. And I love the straps, that they are this black and white stripe. I think it adds another kind of dimension to the bag, but just look how cute that is. You know, especially if you're wearing like an all black outfit or maybe black and grey and then you've got this. Stunning. I love this. I cannot wait to use it. The other couple of things I picked up were two purses. Now you might be thinking, Terry, why did you need to buy two purses? I'm going to tell you. I have a lot of really small bags. Um... The one I use mostly is actually with Ryan and Bag. I believe I got for I got myself for my birthday last year, and it would have been in my what I got for a birthday video. I will leave a card up here if you want to go see it. Um, but the purse I have is too big to fit in my smaller bag, so I end up with money and coins and cards and stuff all over the bag. Sorry. Um, I saw this and thought, perfect. It looks like this. So it's just a kind of black and white tweed material. It has the River Island logo here in gold and silver and the zip is a kind of mixture of gold and silver which is 
really nice. It unzips and it just is kind of the classic, has the two sections and then one space on either side for a card. So maybe like your bank card and your ID card or something. But it's compact, it's perfect and it was only six euros. So I don't think you can really go wrong. So the other purse is a normal purse. I needed one because the purse I got last year, which you will also see in my What I Got For My Birthday video, has broken. The button on it has pulled through the material, which is really annoying. Um, because I do think that purse is cute, but I've got to say, I love this one even more, and it looks like this. So I guess you could say it's Chanel inspired. It has, again, that kind of almost uh, brushed leather on the front with this crisscross design. The um, hardware is mostly in this kind of goldy, rose goldy colour, um, and it has this, it has a slightly different metallic colour around the River Island logo here, but I actually really like it. The back has more of a kind of snakeskin leather effect. When you open it up, you have space for cards here, you have a space for cards here, and then inside you have the two compartments with a zip section in the middle. And then in the back, you just open it here, and again, it has another two compartments. So. You can fit a lot of stuff in these purses, and I normally jam-pack them super full. But this is really, really cute, and I'm so glad I got it, and now I showed it to you. I can finally move the stuff from my old purse into my new purse. Yes. That is everything I bought. Everything apart from the blazer was new, so if you like any of it, you'll be able to find it yourself in stores. I hope you liked the video. If you are new here and you are not already subscribed, please do so, and if you want to help me and my channel grow, don't forget to share my video, you can do it just below here. That would mean a lot to me. I love you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and if nobody's told you today, I love you and I think you're beautiful. Have a great day guys, bye.